Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, and it's a real pleasure to be here with you today. You know, it's not often in this world of instant internet access that somebody's able to say they have a discovery that's truly rare and historic. But that's precisely what I have the pleasure of presenting to you right now. Never before seen footage of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz in final preparations for their debut as Ricky and Lucy Ricardo and I Love Lucy. This footage shot only a few days before the show went before the cameras for the very first time on September 8, 1951, and was only recently discovered and has never before been seen by the public. Now sharing this with you is a particular delight for me, not only as somebody who knows and loves Hollywood, but as somebody who was a personal friend and one time was under contract to Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. So you can imagine how meaningful it is for me to see this footage of her and Desi at this time in their life and their marriage so young, full of dreams and excitement for the future. I also think it's fair to say that no one, particularly they themselves, had any idea of what was about to happen to their lives and careers in only a few short weeks after this footage was shot. Good or bad, things would never be the same for them. Here we have the first film footage of Lucio Ball as Lucy Ricardo. Now this is a makeup and costume test, not a hair test, so Lucy is wearing her normal hairstyle of the late 40s and early 50s. She would keep her hair like this through the very early episodes of I Love Lucy. In fact, if you look closely in these shots, you have to be a bit of a lip reader though. You can see Lucille saying, I need a new style. The jacket that she's wearing in this first shot, as indeed most of the clothes in these costume tests, was from Lucille Ball's closet. Desilu had a very limited costume budget at this early point in the series, so Lucy and Desi often wore their own clothes in the early episodes. This jacket looks a bit more like Lucille Ball than Lucy Ricardo, which is probably why it was never seen once filming began. The makeup, though, is very definitely the Lucy Ricardo look the viewers would come to know and love. Lucille Ball turned 40 just a few weeks before these tests were shot. With makeup and lighting and obviously some good genetics, she really appears at least 10 years younger. In fact, in those rare occasions when Lucy Ricardo confessed her age, it was always about a decade younger than Lucille Ball really was. Lucy is not only investigating her look, but her looks. She appears to be testing out some of her facial expressions that she'll use in episode one of I Love Lucy, which is set to go before the cameras in just a few days. The director, most likely Mark Daniels, tell her to be afraid. In these tests, you see Lucy wearing dresses that would become familiar to viewers for at least the first few seasons of I Love Lucy. This polka dot jumper should be very familiar to fans of I Love Lucy, as Lucy wore repeatedly during the first and second seasons with different blouses underneath it. She wears it in the quiz show, the fur coat, and also Ricky thinks he's going bald. This jacket is most likely a maternity jacket that Lucy wore when she was pregnant with Lucy Jr. She had just given birth to Lucy Jr. one month before. Lucy Ricardo would wear it though when she was pregnant with little Ricky in Lucy's show Biz Swansong. When CBS first approached Lucy about transferring her radio show My Favorite Husband to television, they didn't want Desi Arnaz to play the role of the husband. Executives at the network advised Lucy that nobody was going to believe that this red-blooded American girl was married to a Cuban bongo player, even though they had been married in real life for over a decade. Lucy insisted, though, and eventually CBS relented, but only after Lucy and Desi put together a husband and wife vaudeville act and took it on the road to prove they were believable as a husband and wife working together. Much of this vaudeville act ended up in the I Love Lucy pilot, as well as in episode six, of season one, the audition. I'm looking 
looking for a fellow named Risky Risker, though. Well, I'm Rico Ricardo. Oh, well, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Do you know where I find Risky Risker, though? <laughs> Desi Arnaz was 34 years old at the time of this shoot. It's important to emphasize, I think, that Desi was an unknown quantity as a producer at the time he and Lucy formed Desi Lou Productions, which allowed them to initially own the films of I Love Lucy. Nobody could have foreseen the television empire he would create with I Love Lucy as its linchpin. Later, Desi sold the rights to the films to CBS for $5 million, which gave Desi Lou the capital it needed to expand its enterprise and eventually purchase RKO Studios, which Desi did in 1957. CBS originally wanted the show to be called The Lucille Ball Show, which Lucy flat out rejected. They then countered with The Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Show, which was better, but which she also nixed because she didn't want her name before Desi's. CBS was adamant, though, that it wouldn't be called the Desi Arnaz Lucille Ball Show. And it was producer and head writer Jess Oppenheimer who came up with the solution. I love Lucy. Lucy loved that title and immediately agreed to do it. Why? Because the I referred to Desi, and his name now came first. CBS wasn't so sure, though, so in a brilliant compromise, the show was referred to as the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Show I Love Lucy for the initial network airings. And then it became just, I love Lucy forever after. These tests were shot by the Oscar-winning cinematographer Carl Frund, with whom Lucy had first worked during her tenure at Metro Golden Mayer Studios in the 1940s. Now, despite the fact that he worked on many great films from Hollywood's classic era, today Carl Frund is probably best known for I Love Lucy and for the innovative three-camera technique that he helped to develop and, yes, is still in use today. This nightgown, frizzy white nightgown, was a Lucy Ricardo staple. She wore it in Lucy Fakes Illness, The Gossip, and many more episodes in the first and second years. Lucy wears this bathrobe in the very first episode film, Lucy Thinks Ricky is Trying to Murder Her. In viewing these costume and makeup tests, you really see immediately that these two people are people who really loved each other. The chemistry between them is so evident, even from these makeup tests. Lucy's eyes continually searching Desi's face while he talks, and frequently watching his mouth, leaning in for a kiss, and he touches her continually and looks at her eyes. It's an old adage, the camera does not lie, and it's evident in these tests. And it was undoubtedly that love that audiences responded to and made I Love Lucy such a phenomenon. That and Lucy's comedy genius. And of course, as Desi Arnaz frequently said both during the show and for many years afterwards, I Love Lucy was never just a title. Over 60 years since these simple tests were made, the art of Lucille Ball continues to capture our imaginations and our hearts. If indeed the purpose of art is to wash away from the soul the dust of everyday life, then Lucia Ball and I Love Lucy has done exactly that. It's brought us laughter and love in our darkest hours, as well as in our most joyous ones. And for many of us, it's also bookmarked some of the most important and significant events in our lives. Not too bad for a little show that nobody wanted, and his original intent was merely to make us laugh. How well it still does that, and I have a feeling it's gonna to continue to do that for generations to come. I'm Robert Osborne, thanks so much for joining me.